Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I say that every video is very exciting, but this one is especially exciting because it's actually a wedding video. Today's video in particular is going to be things I regret about our wedding day, anything that just kind of went wrong that I wish I would have done differently if I could go back. I mean, spoiler alert, there really aren't that many things. And so I also am going to share things that I really liked that we did that could have been regrets if I did them differently. I got married almost a year ago and I wasn't really doing a ton of wedding videos just because I knew that there were so many people who were postponing their weddings, who were like canceling, rescheduling. And so I just wanted to wait to do wedding planning videos until I felt like they were more useful for people. And so I just figured I would start doing them here. I've done a few podcasts here and there on my podcast, which is But What's Next podcast, if you guys wanna check it out. I know that wedding planning can be extremely stressful and I watched so many of these videos when planning our wedding. And so I honestly think they're the most helpful to watch. I'm also gonna share some footage and photos as I go through too. So I think it'll just be fun to kind of look back since it's almost been a year, which is crazy. And surprisingly, everything is still pretty fresh in my mind. I still really remember a lot of things, so I hope this is helpful. And at the end, I also asked you guys on Instagram, which is just at Michelle Reed if you wanna follow me, your things that you regret and also your things that you thought you did really well. And I'm gonna share some of those at the end just because I don't have like a ton to share. And I have a feeling that this is gonna be kind of a long video, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And also feel free to subscribe if you guys are new here. I'd love for you to stick around. I do vlogs. I'm 22, I live in Dallas, almost 23 though. I'd love for you to stick around. Also, let me know if you like this background. I normally film with the camera this way, but I think you can see more this way. So let me know if you like this. I'm gonna start off with the regrets. There are only a few. The first one was just not being super forward with my vendors. For the most part, I really enjoyed all the vendors that I worked with. We had a lot of different vendors, pretty much everything we hired in for. We didn't do a lot of like DIY stuff. I got a lot of our decor off Etsy, but that was pretty much the only thing that I like kind of DIY, but still it was other people making it. There were just a few vendors that did things that I felt like I was kind of passive about and we said things were gonna go a certain way and they didn't actually go that way. There was one vendor who said that they would be there at a certain time and they were like two hours late. And although it didn't really impact the wedding that much, it was still one of those things when, you know, you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it. I also had another vendor who I had to really follow up on to get deliverables. And there was another vendor where something just happened at the wedding that was really weird. And I felt like I didn't really bring it up after, but it was just kind of strange. And I wish that I would have spoken up for myself a bit more and not have been super passive. I don't know if this is the case with everyone, but most of our vendors required all the payment before the wedding. It was a lot of 50% deposits or you could do a payment plan, but everything pretty much had to be paid off by the time of the wedding. And I think when that happens, when you're getting deliverables after the wedding, it can kind of make things just a little awkward because you've already paid them fully, but then you're still owed stuff. So. But for the most part, our vendors were great. That was just one thing I wish I would have pushed a little bit more on. The second thing had to do with food. So we had planned our entire wedding meal. We had gotten Starbucks the morning of the wedding, but something that we didn't really think about was lunch and actually eating before the wedding itself. I'm someone who gets really hangry. I eat a lot of food and so I just got a little bit tense <laughs> the morning of the wedding because we just didn't think about food. And my mom was so sweet and was running around trying to find stuff, but it just, was hard to kind of find things on demand at the moment. And I felt like we had planned everything else to a T and we didn't have a wedding planner. It was just me and my mom. But for some reason we forgot that. So I would just plan to have something catered in, make it really easy or just eat a lot. I know a lot of people don't wanna eat a lot the day of their wedding, but I would really recommend eating enough because it's gonna be kind of a chaotic day, a really great day, but a chaotic one. So I'd recommend eating. And the last thing was just kind of like a miscommunication we had, but our reception, actually ended an hour before I actually wanted it to. And I'd always heard that you should end a wedding kind of on a bang and end it before it starts to drag on. And so I didn't want it to drag on very much, but it's only like 10, 15 or something. And we wanted to try to go till 11. And so that was another thing that I kind of looked back on and wish it was a little bit longer, but honestly it ended on a really great bang. So I don't really regret it per se but just to make sure that everyone knows the schedule and everyone's aligned. Now for the things that I love. The top thing that I'm so thankful for was how small our wedding was. We had already planned to have a pretty small wedding. We didn't wanna invite people who like didn't know our middle name, who we would look out in the crowd and not even know who they were. I'm just not the kind of person who feels like I have to invite people because 
I talked to someone before in fifth grade or something. I just don't care. If you want your wedding to be a big party, I think you should so go for that and make it a big party. But I loved how small our wedding was. And this was something that a lot of people actually wrote in and said too, especially a lot of people who had weddings in 2020. It ended up being just really intimate and really sweet. And I knew everyone there. And it was honestly all the people that I really wanted to be there. There were a few people who couldn't be there that I was definitely disappointed about, but totally understood. But it ended up just being the perfect amount. And so if you are trying to downsize your wedding just because you don't want to deal with a lot of guests for budget reasons or any of that, I would just tell you that that's okay. Don't feel kind of guilty about that. Don't feel guilty about narrowing down your guest list. I think this is one of the number one things people say they wish they wouldn't have invited like absolutely everyone. And also along that line, we kept our bridal party relatively small and we actually had different amounts on each side. So Aiden had less groomsmen than I had bridesmaids. And I was a little bit worried at first that things were just gonna be uneven. I'm very symmetrical, so I like when things kind of like look symmetrical, but at that point we had so many things just kind of go differently than what we expected that I just didn't have a lot of expectations. And it was so nice just having all the girls that I really wanted to be there. I had my sisters as my maids of honor, my sister-in-laws, and then three of my best friends. And it was perfect. I felt like that was the perfect amount. And I look back at my photos and I'm just so happy that I picked all those people. So you don't have to like make everyone a bridesmaid. You don't have to feel guilty that you're not doing that. Just pick the people that you really want to be there. Number two is probably a little bit controversial because I know everyone's different with this, but we didn't do a first look and I am really happy that we didn't, but I also had a ton of people write in saying they love doing a first look. So it just depends on you. For me, I had always dreamed of walking down the aisle and that being the first time that, you know, my husband sees me in my dress and it was just really special. We wrote letters to each other. So I still felt connected beforehand, but I had a lot of pressure from people telling me that because we were going off site to take photos at an area that I really liked, that it would be better to do a first look just so we weren't rushed, the sun wasn't setting. And I mean, our ceremony was at six, so it was kind of a time crunch, but it worked out perfectly. I didn't feel rushed at all. And something that we did to kind of make this better was we actually let our guests start eating before we got back. And then we just had someone five minutes before tell everyone to get seated before we did our entrance. And it was perfect. I loved having that moment, especially on video of like Aiden seeing me in my dress and I was really emotional. And I still remember that feeling of walking down the aisle and that being the first time. So if you are feeling pressure to do a first look, even though you don't want to, I would just recommend, yeah, photos are really important. I love having our photos look back on, but we were able to do ours pretty quickly and we also had a video, so. And if you wanna do a first look, do a first look. Just do what you wanna do for yourself. I personally don't regret doing it the way we did it. Number three was keeping everything indoors. So obviously in the heat of summer in Texas, I did not know what the weather was gonna be like, didn't know if it was gonna storm. And so I knew from the minute we started planning our wedding that I wanted it to be indoors. I love outdoor weddings. I honestly think they're beautiful. I think they make for great photos because of natural lighting. I just knew that I would get really stressed about weather and I wouldn't be able to focus on the actual day unless everything was indoors. So I'm really happy that we did it all indoors. And on that same note, we were actually supposed to get married in a church and then be transported back to our reception venue. But we ended up doing everything at our venue and it was just really nice. It was a lot less pressure. We did our photos outside, which I really liked. I like having the photos to look back on outdoors, but I like that everything was inside, so it just felt a lot less stressful. There was AC, it was really great. Number four was having a videographer. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering about our wedding video, and if I plan on posting that, I might still post it on our one year anniversary, but honestly, it just felt really personal because our letters were in it. But I really liked that our videographer actually made a wedding video, and then he also also just gave us footage so a lot of the footage I'm using in this was from like the footage he gave us but I totally don't regret having a video it is so nice to look back on and that was one of the things that a lot of people said they wish they would have invested in even if it's not like a high quality video I think it's worth it just to have a video to look back on. It's really sweet, just really great memories. Videography was the thing that we actually spent the most on aside from our venue. And I don't regret it at all because I'm so thankful to have it. Number five was having a day of coordinator. So like I said, we didn't have a wedding planner. I work from home. My mom was able to help me. So I felt like we could really plan everything, but 
it is so helpful to have a day of coordinator who knows your schedule, who knows how to line everyone up, who can help you with anything that goes wrong last minute, who can give everyone their cues. There are so many logistical things that go into actually having a wedding the day of. And I really liked that we had someone and you don't even have to find someone who's like labeled as a day of coordinator. You can find someone who's just organized that you trust. We had one of my mom's friends be our day of coordinator and she did such a great job. And honestly, she was so important for the wedding day. And so I'm just so thankful that we had her. And I'd highly recommend if you don't have a wedding planner to get a day of coordinator. It makes things so much easier Easier. there are so many things that you don't think about that they'll kind of cover we sat down with her I think two times before the wedding and just ran through everything and she even asked us questions and reminded me of things that I hadn't thought of so I just think they're really helpful to have this one's really special that if you're planning your wedding I think is a really great idea is to do a dance just the two of you at the end of your reception we did this, it was our last dance. We danced to Can't Help Falling in Love by Bob Dylan because Bob Dylan's one of Aiden's like favorite artists. And it was so special. Everyone went outside to line up to do their sparklers for our sparkler exit. But just having that moment, just the two of us, especially because we didn't like eat together before or anything like that. We didn't do a first look. It was really the moment where it was like just the two of us. And it was such a happy moment, such a sweet moment, and some of my favorite photos too that we have. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you are planning your wedding. Number seven is eating dinner. I've heard so many stories of people who talk to everyone so they didn't even get to eat at their wedding in terms of dinner. You should definitely eat dinner, especially we spent a decent amount of money on our catering because our food was so good. We actually had our caterer bring out our plates whenever we got back after we did my dance with my dad, Aiden's dance with his mom, and our dance together they brought us a plate and the drinks that we wanted and it was so nice just getting to eat and to be fully transparent we didn't really talk to a lot of people on the night of like after cake cutting we went and danced and it was really fun and i don't regret not mingling because i do think you're throwing a party and it's for other people too and you spend a lot of money but you also want to enjoy your wedding and it's your day and i don't think you should feel guilty if you don't get to say hi to everyone especially because ours was cut short i'm really thankful that i didn't spend time doing that and just that we got to enjoy our food this one's really important you probably already know it but i'm so happy that we booked all of our vendors early we got engaged in december and we had an eight month engagement and i got my dress in january and it didn't come in till june and then it had to take a month to be altered so i was even cutting it pretty close with an eight month engagement and then we booked all of our vendors pretty much in january and february so i would recommend booking early because things will get expensive if you wait people book up especially now people book up really really quickly and it's really helpful just to have that ease of mind to know that everything's booked especially if you want certain people to do your wedding i wasn't really picky with vendors i was picky with our venue because i knew i wanted something that wasn't like a barn just for me in texas a lot of venues are barns which i think are beautiful but i knew i wanted something more industrial a little bit more urban and if you have a vision you want to make sure you book everything especially if you are planning it yourself having extra time at the venue this was something i didn't think would be that important but whenever we booked our venue there were a lot of options if you could have it for 10 hours, 12 hours, eight hours. And thankfully they actually gave us extra time because where I was supposed to do our ceremony, we couldn't do it there anymore. And so they were really sweet and let us have like the full day to have our whole wedding at our reception venue, which was great. And it was so nice just getting to wake up, take our time getting everything together, have our vendors spread out. So not everyone was there at once getting to just really hang out with my bridesmaids, getting ready. And it was just a very low key day. And I think a lot of that was because we had our wedding venue for the entire day. It wasn't like we had to get there at a certain time, brush, get ready. It was just really great. And also having pretty much everything there, everything was pretty inclusive at our venue. They also cleaned up for you. It was just great. I loved where we got married. If you guys are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, we got married at Brick Venue in Fort Worth and I'd highly recommend. It was a little bit more than we wanted to spend, but I don't regret it at all because they made everything so easy. Having instrumental music when we were walking down the aisle, I was someone who didn't really care to have like a band for our reception, but I knew that for the ceremony, I've always wanted to walk down the aisle to Canon and D. That has just been something I've dreamt about since I was a little girl. And it was so special having live music, people actually playing, and I don't regret that at all. And then we just had a DJ for our reception, which was great. Having my hair up. This is random, but 
I didn't know if I was gonna regret it because I do have relatively long hair. I thought, you know, maybe it'll be nice just to have my hair down, but in the heat of the Texas summer and you're dancing and you're having a good time, if you wanna have your hair up, I don't think it's a bad idea. I love the way mine looked. I just put it back really simply. I had someone do my hair and makeup, which I also don't regret because it made things just a lot easier. I didn't have them do my bridesmaids hair and makeup too. It was just mine. And I really liked having that and just having my hair up. I think it made things really simple. And lastly, it was just keeping decor minimal. I know you see a lot of stuff on Pinterest of people just wanting all these different decor pieces, all these different flowers too. That was the area of our wedding that I just didn't really care about and didn't want to spend a lot of money on. A pro tip is when you do greenery for a wedding, it ends up being a lot more inexpensive. So on our tables, we just had greenery running across. We had greenery running on our guests tables as well. And I ordered pretty much everything off Etsy, like the table numbers. I ordered all of our name cards, all that kind of stuff off Etsy and just had minimal signs. And I loved the look of it. I also liked our venue was pretty minimal too. So it just looked really clean. And I think a lot of times you think you need to have all of this stuff, but it can be really pretty if you just keep things clean and simple, if aesthetics are not the thing you wanna spend on. I knew our food, our venue, videography, and photography were the things that I wanted to spend the most money on. I did not really care to spend on flowers as much. Like I didn't care what flowers were in my bouquet. I just knew I wanted something white and greenery because we just had white and black as our colors. And I think it looked really clean and simple. I'm gonna read through some of the things that you guys said. So for the wedding regrets, these are the ones people said, not hiring someone to do my hair and makeup. I wish we had a more detailed shot list for a photographer. I hear this a lot too. This was something that our wedding day of coordinator had, a shot list of everyone that you wanna get pictures with. It makes things really simple and easy and takes less time. Falling into comparison, wondering if my wedding was good enough. I think that's so true. Don't compare your wedding to other people's weddings. It's your wedding. It's gonna be special because it's your wedding. Talking to random people instead of dancing. I also heard that one a lot. I wish I saved money for longer so I didn't have to go into debt. Not having a DJ. I regret doing DIY flowers. If you're really good at that, I think that's so great. But again, I'm just not a major DIY person. Not getting my flowers preserved. This is a big one. If you're getting married, I'd highly recommend getting them preserved. I have ours. I have mine right up there on the shelf. She went to a florist and the florist did it with epoxy resin. And I think it's really pretty. Just a tip if you're getting married. Hiring a friend to do photography because our photos weren't great. I hear that too. Listening to other people's opinions more than my own. Yeah, if people are trying to plan your wedding for you, like at the end of the day, it's yours and your soon to be spouses and it should be what you guys want it to be. Picking an uncomfortable dress. Yeah, this is also true. I picked a very comfortable dress. It honestly was not the style I thought I was gonna go for, but I loved it. And so sometimes it can be worth it. Or change into a dress that you liked. I changed my shoes too. And I really like that I did that. Not splurging on a good photographer. Yeah, that was another common one. Okay, wedding things that people did not regret. Sticking to a budget because I didn't go into debt. That was kind of the other side of it. Having a day of coordinator, a wedding planner. Enforcing a no phones policy during the ceremony. I think that's also a good idea. Having a short 25 minute ceremony. That's also a big one. We, I think our ceremony was only 30 to 40 minutes. And so it just depends, but if you can keep it short and you like that. Writing our own vows, that was another common one. Doing a first look. So that just goes to show everyone's different. Not sweating the small things and being present. I totally agree with that one. And there were a lot of eloping having a small wedding. So I hope this helps. If you guys are getting married, let me know when you're getting married. Let me know the theme of your wedding. Let me know if you already got married, let me know something you regret and something that you appreciate that you did. I'd love to hear it down below. Yeah, I think weddings can be really stressful, but they can also just be such amazing memories to look back on if you do it the way that you wanna do it. So I hope this was helpful. It was fun just to share more about our wedding. Let me know if you have other videos that you'd like to see along like wedding planning. I'd love to share some more. I also have podcast episodes on more wedding topics if you guys wanna check them out down below. Those are a little bit more current after we got married. So if you wanna check those out and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.